Hi everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on my very first experience with astral projection. Um, if you guys like these kind of videos and you like this little story time talk, please give this video a big thumbs up and I will know to continue to make videos like this. Also, I'm giving a giveaway for $200 gift cards. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before Christmas so that we can give this gift card away to one of you guys who could use it before the holiday season is over. So please subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to continue watching this video to learn about my experience with astral Okay, projection. so my first experience with astral projection was something that I wasn't ever anticipating experiencing. I actually had not set myself up to experience astral projection. Um, I hadn't really learned a lot about it yet. This was just kind of an experience that I had or an out-of-body, my first out-of-body experience that I ever had and I didn't understand what was going on. So I figured that this would be a great story for me to tell you guys because it, honestly it scared the crap out of me. Like I didn't understand what was going on. And now that I look back at how, what you need to do to get yourself to where you can um, get into the state of being where you can, you know, project yourself out of your body and then, you know, travel or whatever it is that you wish to experience. But I didn't know what I was doing. Um, it was 2010, I think, and Garen and I had gone to bed. Or I was, yeah, we'd gone to bed. I think we were taking a nap. I think it was like a Sunday because I remember that the sun was coming in from like my my bed that I'm sitting on right now was like facing a window. So the sun was coming directly in over my head as I was laying there. And so when I was sleeping, I had this beautiful white light that I was focusing on because the sun was coming in down on my body while I was trying to take a nap. And lo and behold, that's one of the things you've got to do is you've got to, you know, picture a beautiful white light as you're resting yourself in order to get to where you can lucid dream. So I had this beautiful white light, you know, surrounding my body and coming in through my crown chakra. And I didn't understand that I was gearing, what well, I was gearing myself up for. But the next thing I know, um, I feel like I'm awake. And so, like, I feel consciously like I'm awake. And I look over at Garen, and he's laying next to me, yada, yada, yada. And then all of a sudden, I feel myself start to float up towards the ceiling of my bed. And I turned around, and I looked down, and I saw myself laying on my bed next to Garen. And I freaked out. <laughs> um, I didn't immediately, like, like startle myself awake. But like my, my, my person that was outside of my body, my spiritual being that was outside of my body was freaking out. I didn't know what to experience or what to say or anything like that. Like I was just freaking out. And then my body started to drift towards my bedroom door. But I could still look back at myself and I could still see myself curled in a ball facing Karen asleep. And by that time, I was really freaking out because I, my body was like headed out to my bedroom door. I didn't really know anything about astral projection or what was going on. And I kept thinking to myself, oh my gosh, what if I can never get myself back into my body? What if I can never wake up? Like I was like, I started to freak out and I freaked out enough that all of a sudden I felt this energy from myself that was still sleeping on my bed pull my other self to me. And then I freaked out and I woke up. And that was my very first experience with astral projection or my first out-of-body experience. Um, it was like, I was very naive. I didn't understand what I was doing. Uh, it was not something I had planned. It wasn't something I was trying to do. It was just an experience that I have had. If any of you guys have ever had experiences like that, please comment them below. I would love to hear from you guys. I love the interaction from you guys. I love all of your comments. So yeah, that's my first experience that I ever had with it. I honestly, since that experience, have not really dared try um, projecting myself again. Um, if, if you guys know that I have a lot of anxiety, I have a lot of fears that I'm trying to work through and I have been working through and one of my biggest fears is not being able to bring myself back into my body again. Like I know it's... 
on an unlogical or not a logical fear or an unrealistic fear that I have, but it's a fear that I have and it's something that I have to work through as a person. So I've not allowed myself to project again. If it happens again and I, it would, if it happens again, it would happen because it would be unintentional. Um, and yeah, that's it. And then I think that's it for today. I just wanted to share my, my first and only experience I've ever had with astral projection. I will do a video next on how to astral project or how to astral travel and all those different things with tips and tricks and things that you can try. Um, like I said, though, there are just tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. It's not something I've implemented except for the first time without realizing what I was implementing. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like this little story time. If you do, give this video a big thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe to my channel so you could be entered to win that giveaway. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers before Christmas. Also, if you guys would like me to do like a daily vlog or vlogmas, let me know in the comments below and I can definitely get that in the works. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Remember through faith, power, and protection, faith in yourself, faith in everything around you that you can be all, do all, and have all. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.